Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and I've been really looking forward to today's video as a huge lover of Fender JV guitars. We have the 1982 JV ST57 Strat, the 1984 JV TL62B Telecaster, and now this JV Jazzmaster. I already made a video where I go over the history of this instrument. If you're interested in seeing some of the nitty gritty as well as some other different people who have had this model and how they've been able to identify it, things to look for, you can click up here and knock yourself out if that's something that you'd like to check out. But for today, we're gonna stick to the normal sort of format when I review slash demo guitars. We're gonna start by putting this onto the bench. We're actually going to take the pick guard off so I can show you the electronics that came with this instrument and believe me we're in for a big surprise when it comes to that very good one of that afterwards we will play a demo Tone King Gremlin Amplifier. So if you're as excited as I am for today's video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing if you're new around here or you've seen other videos and you just haven't hit the button yet. It's totally free to do so. There are affiliate links down below if you'd like to help directly support this channel and keep it independent so I can do and say whatever I want without any sort of script or other intentions behind it. Let's get this on the bench and check it out. All right, here we are with the JV Jazzmaster. Uh, it does have the vintage radius, the correct vintage string spacing on this. This has the Japanese vibrato system. One way that you can tell it's the Japanese spec one versus the American one is the strings, when they come out from the bridge with the right spacing, they come in a little bit together tight, so it's not a straight line all the way through like you would find on another jazz master in the room the gold american vintage 65. but instead of talking about the electronics while the guitar is fully assembled i'm going to take the strings off and we're going to take a quick look under the hood so to speak all right so this should be a much better look at the internals of this guitar uh there's not a whole ton to look at but all of the connections and all the parts are 100% original indeed. And having had several JVs, I can verify it. What I find interesting here is uh, the red kind of labeling on the volume pot is probably to denote that is a different value than they would have used on other JVs, such as the Telecaster and the Stratocaster with a 250K pot. We do have this Yamato 50K right here connecting the volume and the tone pot right there. We only have this one ground connected to the guitar itself. So if we were to remove this and take out this bridge pickup as well, we would just be flush out and it would be body only. One other thing I wanna show you though, and check out for myself here, are these pickups. All right, everybody, this is by far the biggest surprise that I have seen in a long time. When I requested pictures of this, I didn't even ask to see the bobbins of the pickups because I had assumed they were gonna be the Stratocaster style. And no, these are actually wound the way that a traditional Jazzmaster is. And that is not the case for a lot of Jazzmasters. All of the late 80s, early 90s ones that I've seen outside of one or two uh, special runs that had American equipped pickups from the factory, they had the Strat style ones. You're gonna see a picture on the screen comparing what those would look like compared to uh, traditional Jazzmaster pickups like these. And yeah, that's really, really, really wild. 0.87 at the first fret, 0.92. Now I guess I really shouldn't be so surprised that this guitar fits me like an absolute glove when I'm playing it. Uh, the neck specs on this are all my favorite things in the world. Uh, it is a seven and a quarter radius. We do have the rosewood fingerboard on it. We got a decent amount of life still in these frets. Man, man, what a guitar. Uh, before we get going, we're going to flip it over real quick because there's a few things I'd like to discuss and show there. All right, the last thing we're going to go over here before we get into the sound samples, uh, there is no sticker on the back of this neck, but that doesn't mean that it didn't ship with a sticker on the back of the neck because I have seen two examples of JV Jazz Masters that have been posted online where it had a 70, and it leads me to believe, based on everything else about this guitar, that this was a JM. 6270 and just for example of what that might have looked like this is my JV Stratocaster uh, the sticker is still intact on this 1982 
ST5765 is the grade for that. And that also equivalents to the amount of yen that it was going to be sold for at the time. And last but not least, we do have the original tuners on this guitar. So let's get to the sound samples. We're going to plug into the Tone King Gremlin, mic'd up by the SM57. Uh, drive will be provided from the Benson preamp pedal, and reverb and delay will both come from the same unit, the Strymon Belante. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, most times in life, when you end up being proven wrong about something that you could have sworn was 100% accurate, it might annoy you, you might feel stupid about it, but in the case of this guitar with these pickups, I didn't care. I was extremely happy to find out that these are properly sized Jazzmaster pickups inside. These are not the typical Strat and a Jazzmaster kind of clothes thing going on here. And it kind of explained a few things. In the video I did the other day where I played this guitar back to back with the American Vintage 65 Jazzmaster, I really didn't think that there was much in it in the middle position. And that was the only like direct comparison I did. And I said, whoa, listening back to this, these don't sound as far apart as I would have guessed. Well, lo and behold, here's part of our reason why. So I suppose one way that you would be able to tell if a guitar was truly a JV, an all original, it would have these pickups in them and they'd be old because, again, I can't think of many other Fender Japan guitars outside of recent ones that ever had these properly kind of specced out Jazzmaster pickups with the bobbins and the most are Strat style pickups. But I think that this guitar sounds really good. Uh, I did give it an electrical cleaning and just kind of a little tidying up inside of the cavities. I might end up uh, adding another ground or maybe I'll just do some shielding instead. That's a little bit easier, but everything else considered. Guys, this thing is incredible as I would have expected having really really played a lot of Japanese fenders and especially some of the earliest ones like this one. This is, this is fantastic. The neck carve, I said it when we had the bench breakdown. I absolutely love it. It's not too big, but it tapers really, really well. And it just plays effortlessly. There's so much life left in these frets. The vibrato is amazing. Even though this is the Japanese unit and I typically prefer the American unit, this one, is absolutely rock solid. It did the job well, and it was pretty easy for me to find the sweet spot of how hard I had to bend it to get into the right semitone so that when I released it, we were all back in key. It's little musical things like that that make the difference when you're playing uh, offset guitars. Pickups really do sound great. I will say, the neck pickup is my favorite, but the bridge pickup, what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to dial the tone back either on the guitar itself or if you're setting it up through an EQ pedal, uh, accommodate for that, or through the EQ of your amplifier that you are using just to kind of take off a little bit of the high end. I wish that this had a CTS tone pot in it that had a better taper on it so I could just not worry about any of that and do it all from the guitar itself, but it is serviceable as is. And overall, Hell of a guitar, I don't know what else to say about it. Extremely, extremely happy with it. So let me know in the comments section down below, what did you think of this guitar? How did it sound to you? Also, if you happen to have an older or potentially a more recent Fender Japan Jazzmaster that does have the Strat style pickups in it, did you keep those pickups as is? Were you satisfied with them? Or did you swap them out for proper Jazzmaster pickups. I always like hearing how you guys tweak with things as well. But that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support. Don't forget, tell somebody in your life that you love, that you do love them. Play your guitar. Go get some fresh air. Get off the internet. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy, everybody.